what is up youtube welcome back to the channel we got super bowl present content breakdown we're gonna be going through all the cards the ltds the solo challenge rewards and then towards the end of this video we're gonna be talking a little bit about ultimate season three possibly coming to madden next week and what it kind of means and what what it doesn't mean really when it comes to madden 22 but hopping into the cards same kind of content structure as we've been seeing really since the beginning of the new year three heroes per team which are the 95 overalls those three go into a 97 overall champion set per team the 95 or one of the 95 heroes for the rams cam Akers, more of a sprinter not really going to break too many tackles truck too many players but 94 speed elusive back darius williams i wish this card was a little bit faster but he has 90s across the board he's going to hit the zone threshold the man threshold darius williams can play alongside david long and Jalen ramsey on those rams theme teams but a pretty pretty solid card i will say we were pretty spot on when it comes to predicting these cards but it wasn't really like it was that hard to do but darius williams was one of the cards i did not think that would get an upgrade but he got an upgrade ernest jones 95 overall this card if he had 90 plus speed i think would be a really really good card because 93 speed 80 zone coverage just ah, want that 90 zone coverage 94 hit power 94 block shed overall a pretty solid card rams and Bengals theme teams of course are going to get significant upgrades but i think ernest jones cam acres and Darius films are all just only rams so don't quote me on that but t higgins i have a few issues about this card good speed of course he's 6'4 great height great catching great spec catch 85 deep route running and 88 medium route running with the physical archetype he's the worst wide receiver archetype in the game with doesn't the deep route running or medium route running threshold so i think say on old gen he's pretty much useless because he's not going to separate on those deep posts and those crossing routes mike hilton this is a pretty good card 93 speed of course Bengals and steelers team team for him mike hilton 95 overall 93 speed 94 zone 90 press 92 man coverage in terms of other corners the Bengals, eli apple i think got a 92 90 overall card and the final 95 overall for the Bengals is going to be jonah williams you know he's a lineman he's not going to do two crazy things now the only thing i don't like about maybe necessarily this player selection is well the Bengals ltd is going to be a left tackle too so this jonah williams is pretty much useless in most people's eyes when it comes to either a Bengals theme team or just a left tackle in general. I guess you could take him as an end cat from these sets if you really want him. Joe Mixon is the Bengals champion. A well-deserved card. Great card if you ask me. 95 speed, 97 break tackle. Catching, we know catching really doesn't really matter that much. I've been using Christian Okoye with 72 catching, and he's been great when I played with him. Joe Mixon, 6'1", I believe 218 pounds, so he'll be a pretty solid running back. I believe he's the fat, tied for the fastest running back in the game. And then Aaron Donald, they gave this card good speed. He only had 84 speed, or I believe 85 speed on his 93 overall card, plus 4, and they gave him a significant speed boost. Not as much as the 94 Aaron Donald you get from running 5 miles, but this card is really really good i would play him at d tackle if there's any position to play him at and the ltds first one a little bit questionable jack youngblood i would have liked to see i don't know maybe a different ranking give us a todd Gurley. i i feel like we could have gotten a much better choice than a, ca a captain a team captain because i have jack youngblood youngblood he is powered up to i believe 96 his team chemistry gets him up to 97 overall it's just like I can't even get that card on my team. Most people run Jack Youngblood as their team captain, so it's a little bit unfortunate. And then Anthony Munoz. The big thing about this card it is the first bow nose player to get an upgrade. He was originally a 94 overall bow nose. This card, really, really good. It's 6'6. Six, six gonna be the highest rated left tackle in the game when powered up to 98 overall so i think that's a w card even though we did get jonah williams and then ed reed is the solo challenge card we got percy Robin last week we got ed reed this week and i just don't it's become ed reed has become basically a madden 22 meme he gets a card every single month when he doesn't need a card they could have chosen there's 300 different players that would have more deserving or been a better card for solo challenge rewards i mean the card's actually not that bad his abilities he gets pick artist mid zone ko or mid zone i don't even know what the ability is and then acrobat so he's actually a pretty decent card and the other ltd we saw mark Andrews yesterday the ltd was kenny moore this was my prediction on twitter but 95 speed the only problem with kenny moore is he's 59 so he's a midge but other than that kenny moore a really 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 good card stat wise overall i'd say rating i sent this on twitter said rating 1 to 10 on the super bowl present promo i originally had it at a 5 i think i'm going to drop it more down to a 4 or a 3 i just don't really it's just i'm left wanting more i'm not like mad about the content i feel like i'm just disappointed i feel like a lot of you guys are disappointed with the content it's cool man joe mix and aaron donald deserving upgrades and anthony munis i guess a cool car but jack youngblood is kind of just a pointless ltd but that's kind of my opinion when it comes to the super bowl present content on the post market reveal 
the best kind of upgrade or the best investment if you didn't make it anthony munoz i didn't have any anthony munoz but he's up his 94 went from about like 115 120 all the way up to 180 190k I actually buy this one for 174 because i don't think it's a bad deal if you plan on powering up anthony munoz i would pick up his power up and the 94 overall today the demand for him is definitely gonna be more tomorrow than it is right now but before we get into kind of the joe mix and the aaron donald i do want to play a little flashback clip yes i'm gonna be flexing a little bit i don't want to say i called it but I called it when it came to the Super Bowl present investments. Joe Mixon, we've been buying for under 7K, going for like 15, 16K right now. And I just think even looking at that Trey Hendrickson card, I think we're going to be let down within the Super Bowl present program. And I think the move is to just sell these cards. Everyone has had two weeks to invest in some of the most obvious investments ever. Joe Mixon, Trey Hendrickson, and Aaron Donald, I think, are the top three most... As you can see, man, it just... I never really thought these cards were going to be too good, especially after seeing that Trey Hendrickson... I got the feeling we were just going to get 395s per team and then 197. That's exactly what we got. And you can see Joe Mixon was 15K yesterday. He's been flooded on the market for 10K. And his card is actually really good. Same with Aaron Donald. His card actually has gone up a little bit. His core elite and his most seared, but not a ton. It, it just never... I never got the feeling these cards were going to be crazy good. We always look for certain things and in investments, Like right? Team of the year, yes, the team of the years were over-invested in. But we knew the team of the year cards were going to be the best players at the respective positions. These cards, I never really got the feeling like Joe Mix and Aaron Donald would just be game-changing, game-breaking cards, and everyone kind of knew they were getting upgrades for at least two weeks. Most of these cards have been over-invested, and T. Higgins was one that was kind of a 50-50 if you were to get an upgrade, and he actually gone up in price as Team of the Week. But probably the biggest just present player kind of rise on the market has been Mike Hilton, his core elite now up over 10K, was going for like 2.53K before, and then his 88 overall ultimate kickoff has gone from about 15K to 30K. So that's really... The, uh, the gist of the market, it, nothing crazy. I pretty much had to go and look up these cards because I had sold most of my investments. And I will say NFL Honors, I do the same thing, man. NFL Honors cards are pretty much all up. Cooper Cup, Jamar Chase, Aaron Rodgers, T.J. Watt. I would sell these cards even before the award show. They're most likely going to be getting upgrades or getting the award selected for them. But I just, I don't see, just like Super Bowl present, I don't see the ceiling with the NFL Honors cards because their LTDs will be so expensive. So, now moving into season three we got our first official tease new season ultimate season three this morning more news i think to come and i will show a tweet talking that season three is not going to be tomorrow it's going to be sometime next week it's probably going to be thursday or friday of next week i'm leaning now more towards the odds boost dropping whenever season three comes out and i i know I don't want to hype up Season 3 too much because I hyped up Season 2 like it was just going to be this grand thing and they were going to have so much stuff planned and all this cool stuff and new packs and the rewards are going to be awesome. And then Season 2, we were let down. As you can see by this tweet, more news to be coming early next week on Season 2 and a Cam Chance. We're maybe going to be finally getting a Cam Chancellor Mutt Master upgrade. But Season 2 was a big letdown. Like, it really was. There was nothing cool. Like, I had never normally liked Seasons in past Madden's. Like, the, the day a season drops, it's chaos. We get an odds boost. We usually get a pretty significant program dropping with the season, the new season turnover. And then we get the, the 10 levels, and we go crazy. Of course, the field goal stuff, and we get 10 levels in about a couple hours. But Season 2 really this year was just the, it was the only season i think i've ever logged on i've logged on seen the season two seen all the ultimate season rewards i'm like yeah i'm just gonna get off there's really i'm not gonna sit there and grind solos for days to get what is it pj williams and jerry judy i just wasn't that interested hopefully season three is a lot better much more i think planned i really don't think season two was planned in terms of what you can prepare i'd say still clear out your binder you can guys see my binder is dwindling by the day i'm trying to get rid of all the cards as i can before kind of the odds boost in season three the other thing is you can try to save some solo challenges since we know solo challenges are kind of the only way to fastly or efficiently level up i'd say save as many solo challenges as you can and just play them all when season three drops so you actually get some xp for playing those solo challenges but hopefully the rewards i'm guessing we're going to be getting an overall kind of turnover next week we're going to be starting this saturday with the legends and then possibly some reduxes the 96 overall redux cards next friday so maybe i'm thinking about selling my micah parsons even though he's going to be winning rookie of the year i might be selling off my 96 ghost micah parsons maybe you guys might want to too with your 96 overall reduxes but that's really all the news we've gotten from super bowl present we still they never i don't know if they talked about it because i didn't really watch the stream i don't know if they talked about the 99 overall super bowl mvp set i'm sure we'll get that tomorrow we're gonna have to wait and see but that's all for the video today ultimate legend investment guide is going to be out tomorrow afternoon i'm very excited to make that video hope you guys are excited to watch that 
learn from it. But that's going to be all for this video. Comment if you have any questions. Like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And until tomorrow, peace.